So I've been thinking a lot about the dominant world, what the dominant worldview in environmental ethics is. That is just that us as people on this earth use the the earth and everything in it, all the animals, all the land, oil, everything, as a means to our to our own ends. And it's about consumerism. It's about um, uh, corporations and the government itself and they're trying to maximize profit and capital um, in order to just make the most profit possible and that is I think is a a pitiful way of looking at this earth we should look at the we should look at this place as as our own home and treat it as such because if we for one if we don't it's not going to be like this and we, it is not going to be inhabitable in so in so many years Number two, we should we should we should have concern for the animals for their own sake and not just for ours because all, it, it is also the case that if they are gone, that's going to have a big toll on us. And I think there should be a possibly kind of kind of like Marx said, a currencyless society, so that it's not possible for a corporation to try to maximize profits or anything like that. Um, however, that would be probably controversial, but, uh, and I'm not, I'm, I'm not entirely a communist either, but that's just, I do, do think Marx's writings are definitely worthwhile and have really, really good points, but the dominant worldview, I think, is something that we need to change about our attitudes, about the way that we, about the way that we look at our home, about the way that we look at, you know, oil that we can drill and get as to, you know, getting a huge truck that has the worst carbon fuel emissions ever and we should definitely definitely look at things in a very 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 different way um and that's pretty much what that is i think we need to have a attitude which is not about that it's about need it's it's about we should do should we should take from this earth what what we need the native americans and, and natives in other places of the world do this well, there, I'm sure, sure that there are some that they don't, but I know that most of the of the of the of the native of the Native Americans then and now have taken only what they need, and they don't poach or they don't they don't hunt for sport. As I as I, see, I saw in one documentary that uh, I think Japanese they would go catch sharks. Take their fin and then dump it, dump it, dump everything else to make shark fin soup, which I think is I never ever had before, and I never, I never will. Um, that is barbaric, and wrong, and, and wrong entirely. That is a perfect example of the dominant worldview: is that that we have the power, we have the power to do anything that 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 we want. We are at the top of the food chain usually, and we have the ability, and we have the most you mo, mo, mostly the most intelligent set maybe like dolphins or whales um, and we have the ability and the resources and we will do and we will do we will do what, whatever we can to get more resources and more more capital more profit nothing that that, that we do here is need based ever I think that's another thing that we need to change and shift into the other direction and have more of a conservation based attitude and more of a need based attitude attitude as to what we take and as to what resources we use and think more about um, doing things based upon what, what we need and not um, I guess not have that dominant worldview as using this place that is that is our home as a means to our own end so that's basically what that whole attitude is and I plan on making environmental ethics videos about uh, Deep ecology, which I think is a perfect outlook or perfect idea about how we should look at this earth, this place, which which is which is our home.